I'm Steve. And I'm Joel, and welcome to another edition of Ask the Clinical Data Experts. We are here today dressed as Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson in order to solve the mystery of SDTM. I recently had a sponsor ask me, what is SDTM all about and what are the advantages? That's a good question. The Study Data Tabulation Model, SDTM, provides a structure for standardizing all of your clinical trial data in a format that will be readily accepted by the FDA. But the real question is, how would you feel knowing that your data is ready to submit to FDA? I think that should make you feel pretty good. What about the specific benefits of SDTM? Ah, yes. There's a few questions you would want to ask yourself here as well. Would you benefit from being able to seamlessly review data across all of your studies? Are you interested in saving hundreds of thousands of dollars? It was not. Would you enjoy having your compound approved faster? Once again, I would certainly answer yes to all those questions. Uh, Let's talk a little bit about the first advantage, the seamless review of data. Ah, so it's, it's often the case when studies are being conducted that the focus is solely on that study. And nobody seems to think about what's happened in the past with studies on that compound in terms of the data and what's going to happen in the future with studies on that compound in terms of the data. So what you end up with is every, uh, every study has its own uh, data look and feel. Well, if we were to conduct these studies in an SDTM format, then the data would look exactly the same across all of these. So um, you're going to have to do something with the legacy data that, that you've run, if you, if you have legacy data, to get it into SDTM format. But moving forward, if you can do everything in SDTM format, you'll be able to then review all of your data together as if it's one big data set. Sure. Um, so, you know, as an example, if somebody were to come to you and say, I need to understand how uh, the blood pressures have changed across the, uh, the duration of your program for this compound, you'll be able to easily answer that question for them. Right, right. How about the money saving component of standardization? Well, the money savings all comes uh, really at the end of a particular study. So if you start your study and you're not in an STDM format, at some point you're going to have to get it into an STDM format. We talked a little bit about legacy data. Uh, before, but you know, if, if you're going to conduct a study today, why not start it in STDM format? Because at the end, because FDA only accepts STDM format data now, um, you're going to have to remap it anyway, and that can cost you know upwards of hundred thousand dollars per study to get it mapped, depending on you know the, the complexity of the study. So that will save you you know, like I said, hundreds of thousands of dollars over the course of a program for sure, and getting that data remapped, um, and you know, so it's not just at the end of a study, but also, you know, when you're ready to submit the data to FDA, it's going to have to be in that format. And so why not go ahead and get it that way to, to begin with? Sure. How does standardization lead to a quicker approval by the FDA? Well, that, that, that's a, a kind of mentioned before, um, with the FDA only accepting SDTM uh, data sets, if you were to submit something to them in a non-SDTM format, they're going to send it back to you and say, hey, you're going to have to do this in an SDTM format. So that's going to you know, take time, which by the way equals money. Um, so really what it boils down to is if you have your data in SDTM format, if you conduct your studies in an SDTM format uh, from the beginning, then your data is ready to roll when you're ready to roll. That makes good sense. It sounds like standardization through SDTM is definitely the way to go. Yeah, most definitely. Um, and all of you who are watching, please uh, send us your questions related to SDTM. We can map your existing studies in an SDTM compliant format or ensure that you have SDTM compliant data sets from the very beginning of your trial. Yep. Thanks for tuning in and join us again for another edition of Ask the Clinical Data Experts.